Hello everyone! So today's video is going to be something a bit different. I'm sure you guys have seen this trend all over Instagram. It's the show me off... <laughs> Let's try that again. It's the show me the picture off challenge. So basically on Instagram, I asked you guys to fill in the blank, show me a picture off, and then you guys gave me what you want to see a picture of. And then me and Sigel, who is my sister, this is the first time on your channel, we found a picture in our like gallery to try and best match your description or to show the picture of what you wanted. So let's get on with that. The first one is to show a picture of Cody. Cody is our unofficial third sibling, aka my dog. He is the light of this family and he's like the apple of our eyes. This is Kira's 9th, 20th birthday. <laughs> it is my lockdown birthday with Cody. And this was back when Cody used to eat everything inside. And he, so he's a bit yeah. chub chubs, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's a, we called him a bread loaf at one stage <laughs> because of the color of the coat of his like skin. But also because we couldn't take Cody for walks for like I think six months because we were in like very hard lockdown. That is why he's a bit chubby. He's much more healthier now, don't worry. We also got a bit of a fright. But the vet surprisingly said that it's actually one of the most healthiest dogs at his age. Cody is going to be 12 this year. So it was really surprising for us, but now we take him for a walk as often as we can. I have like quite a few because Cody literally takes up 75% of my whole gallery. The first picture that I'm putting on here is of Cody sleeping. He's like a little nugget. He like just curls in his little basket. He looks so innocent when he sleeps, but he's not. And the next one was actually taken, I think, yesterday. Cody likes to make him look like an old man. Cody likes to look like I mean, Sigel <laughs> likes to make him look like an old man. So she scrunches up his face and, yeah, he just looks really funny. The next one, Cody is a spy, guys. Like, I swear if he could talk, the secrets that he would spill is something else because... He's head of espionage. <laughs> he'll be, like, sleeping in his basket and he'll peep through with, like, one eye or like just his snout outside. So this one is actually quite a scary one because I think I fell asleep and I woke up to that. So that was the and then <laughs> <laughs> the demon possessed you. Oh, Cody looks so funny. Like I'm sure if you have a Chihuahua, you will know they are extremely feisty breed of dog. And so like anything, like even if you do this to him, like he gets riled up. Ooh. So this will show his two weeks. So the first one is of him like going and then the second one is him like acting like he's the prince of wales or something <laughs> like he looks so calm and put together <laughs> and then this one is like how cody usually is with me when i play with him so yeah that is just our dog cody the next one is a show me a picture of your largest achievement so if you don't follow Kira on Instagram, not so long ago, maybe like last year this time, but I painted a picture of um, <laughs> someone very special to me, <laughs> my idol, my role model, um, Cole Sprouse. So I painted a picture of him. AKA Cody from the Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. <laughs> no, we did not name our dog after him, right? No, no, my cousin <laughs> chose his name. It's completely unrelated. I mean, I knew it sounded like Cody, but I didn't imagine these two questions never mind coming one after the other but yeah this was like my first painting i really took a light to painting during lockdown and i think this was a real big achievement of myself of my own yeah i also personally think that this is i just always actually been a very artistic child like she's much more in like we both are into the arts but sigil's very much more career focused into going into things like acting singing dancing and like actual art so when she painted this, like I think in the amount of years that she's been alive, I think this is like one of the best paintings and most accurate paintings that she did. So for me, mine is actually, I came first in my class for geography last year and I also made Dean's List for the first time. And for me, this was a big achievement, obviously very big in my academic career. But for me, it was more so an achievement that despite everything that was going on last year, both like the pandemic and things in my personal life, I still kind of rose above that and just kind of tuned out whatever was going on and really focused on what was important to me. And for me to achieve that, it just shows I can achieve things even if they're are setbacks back there are setbacks in life and i think it doesn't have to just apply to your academic career i think just in general if you're really passionate about something that should be the focus of your attention despite what anyone says or what's going on in the world or whatever opportunities are 
given to you i think if you really work hard and you really want something the whole universe will conspire to give it to you and you will be rewarded for everything that you do don't you agree mm -hmm. next one is a picture from the rand easter show so for those of you that might not live in joburg or you live like overseas and you're not really sure about anything about south africa the rand easter show is an easter like weekend it's basically like a fair with like musicians stores food fun for like little kids it's just like a whole extravaganza if i can say that like it's just for the whole family to enjoy i think went last in maybe 2012 or 2013 just because the crime has gotten like a bit worse like in the rand easter show and then obviously in the last two years there hasn't been one because of the pandemic this is a photo of me and my cousin and my sister and this is such a funny photo when i found this yesterday i honestly was rolling on the floor <laughs> because my cousin and my sister just look so cute and so put together and i don't know what was going on with my face in the background <laughs> like i just look as if i was in so much pain and i was just smiling through the whole event and like i don't even know what could have triggered that because even elephants in the back and if you guys know me elephants are my favorite animal so i really don't even know what could have triggered that like <laughs> demonic smile of mine but yeah that is the picture of the both of us from the rand easter show the next one is a picture of you guys or just from the time that Nelson Mandela passed away. I'm sure everyone knows who Nelson Mandela is, but he passed away, unfortunately, in when I was in grade 7, so I think that it was 2013. And in Sandton City, which is like quite a big mall here in Johannesburg, there was a there's a place called the Nelson Mandela Square, which is named after him. And there's a huge like statue of him. And there's like a whole lot of cool facts about his whole life and stuff in that area, obviously with restaurants and shops as well. But basically anyone and everyone flew in from even all around the world to come and pay a tribute to him. And there was like millions and millions of flowers and letters and bouquets and candlelights. We actually went to the memorial by his house. On the day that he passed away, there was like a whole vigil held outside his house. Basically, this is me and my sister at the <laughs> Nelson Mandela Memorial and um, Nelson Mandela Square in Sandton City. It was like millions and millions. I think this was like just the beginning. By the time that we left two hours later, like the whole floor was like filled with like tributes to him and we just took like a whole lot of pictures there and I don't know I was just not a kid that was into smiling when I was like 13 or 14 I don't know what and now was the going have reversed. yeah like now I can't stop it's like, it's like, it's like stop being a clown so I don't know actually so cute though as, as like sisters but yeah that was basically what it was it was just really nice to see like the whole community come together and everyone just really thank Madiba for everything that he did in the last 30 or 40 years prior to him passing away. Next one is what is the weirdest picture you have on your phone? I'm so sorry if this gives you life. <laughs> this is when Sajil showed me this I also I didn't even know how to respond to it. <laughs> Tell them how we took that picture. So on. this was before lockdown we went to Durban and we were staying at like a B&B and I just got this new app that was like similar to snapchat but you didn't like have any like interactions with people so it wasn't like as... it was just the filters yeah and there was a face swap filter and i just tried it with kira and somehow she just decided to make this face and this face is nightmare worthy so i'm going to put a trigger warning right here you will get nightmares but it's <laughs> Oh my god. I, I look fine. But it's just Kira's face on you, my body. Yeah, like like Sidel's face on me looks fine, but I just I just made Sidel look like she was a demon. That is so funny. <laughs> so my weirdest picture is you can show them. Not so <laughs> is basically this one. I've never watched Harry Potter. But basically what happened is that we had this maths professor and shame. She's a really sweet lady, but gosh i don't know what happened she like had really nice hair and then she <laughs> chopped it off and she got highlights i'm pretty sure that was done by someone that just has never seen a scissors or a hair dye kit before and she looked like this guy and we just my friends and i just like drew locks. hair locks for her 
so that is the weirdest picture and we actually like when we drew this we didn't realize how similar it would look to her and i think that's why it's the weirdest picture and why i kept it for this long because it's one of the funniest memories that i have for my first year in university so the next one is show the first picture on your camera roll i think it was like first year my cousin got like a new camera and she got a new well phone. a new phone and so she came home to spend time with my sister and i just because we hadn't seen her in so long and so like we have like a patio thing outside that we're like filming a, in just, right now. yeah that we're actually filming in and so we put like um what is it like blankets on the floor and we cut up oranges and like we had a whole photo shoot and just like a really nice time and out she broke her glasses. oh yeah and she <laughs> broke her glasses that she just got i think like two weeks before that but it was just so much of fun and the, the light like comes in really nicely because the sun like sets like right in front of our house and so the light that was coming in also was like glow our world it was just a really nice afternoon then my first real I, I don't know i got my film camera developed over the beginning of the whole pandemic and lockdown last year i took two gadgets that were kind of broken or not being used or whatever and i tried to fix it and the first one was my mom and dad's film camera which i'm pretty sure they used on their honeymoon so that was 1998 so that camera is 22 years old and it still works very well they, we haven't used it in a very long time so the batteries were kind of rusted out and we weren't sure actually what type of film was actually left in there so i just took like like mock pictures here and there and we developed it to see if hey jesse anything was actually left from it and i'm pretty sure this picture is from as far back as 2009 when i was nine years old with that picture i look so irritated with my mom i don't i honestly i honestly i honestly have no idea what was even happening at that time i'm pretty sure we were at a restaurant and my mom shouted me for something she used to be um, very like yeah, temperamental I, when she was I, yeah, younger. I'm, I, my personality now, like I'm still very, I guess, loud as I was when I was younger. But I think like my anger and negative emotions, I've learned how to kind of control it. Just because I've realized sometimes situations aren't really worth it. But in this instance, clearly, I did not know that. And I don't know who decided. I think my dad actually took this picture of me being angry he used to do that a lot like even our home videos when i would have like a tantrum or whatever my dad would film me so now i have like so many home videos and pictures of me kind of crying or whining or whatever also my mom i don't know what she was doing in this picture but yeah next one is a picture from my matric dance and i got one of sigil and i this picture i had like pre-drinks or like a pre-event before i went to my actual matric dance my date to my matric dance was actually one of my really closest friends i've been friends with him since i was like two or three years old and our families are quite close it was his family and then my cousin is quite close to the both of us as well because we were all in like preschool together so his family came and then my immediate family came home as well and we like decorated this area and we got like drinks for everyone to have and we had like a photo shoot my really close friend came home and she took pictures of us and we had like snacks and stuff and just like it was a really nice evening to go to before we went to meet up with my friends to take pictures with them and then to actually go to the matric dance so i took this picture with me and my sister i actually really loved my matric dance dress and funnily enough it was my dad who actually chose it for me i wasn't the type of person to like imagine what my dress would be or imagine what my matric dance day would be obviously i was like really looking forward to because i just know so many people say that they've had so much of fun at these things but i never really planned what i would look like and so my dad and i just went to kind of get a feel for it and one of the two shops that we went in on that day i found two dresses that i absolutely love the second one which i ended up choosing was chosen by my dad and I chose both of them and my dad and the lady that was helping me both said that they loved the dress on me. And when I got to my matric dance, not many people had the same style that I had or even the same color. And so I was just really happy with how the dress like turned out. And also because I'm not a very dressed person, like my style is very tomboyish, like jeans and jerseys and 
t-shirts is kind of my style so i also wanted a dress that didn't feel too much out of my comfort zone and so this really helped with that so yeah and sigil's dress was also really pretty i had a very big multi-purpose i used it for everything <laughs> yeah it was such a beautiful dress that went with every single event so sigil ended up wearing it with that as well the next one is to show you in your traditional attire so me and sigil are indian if you didn't know um yeah we are indian <laughs> This is Sigil at Diwali last year. Obviously, we didn't really get to do much because of the pandemic. It was just my very first sari. The only thing I can say about my makeup was that I didn't listen to my parents and I drew blocks as eyebrows. That's all I can say. <laughs> so Sigil was like experimenting with makeup the whole of last year. And so we didn't, we, if we told her that something didn't look like as nice or didn't suit her shape, she would argue a lot with us. So we just like let her explore and do whatever she wanted to. Obviously now she can see that that does really suit her. Mine was also, I don't really wear saris just because they're very difficult for me to, well, I don't actually drape it, I actually can't drape it, but my cousin is really, really good at draping saris like effortlessly. So she helped me with my, this is another cousin from the cousin I spoke about before, but she helped me with my hair, my makeup and draping my sari getting me done for the day and this is like our first wedding since i think like 2019 and when you live in a big indian family or you have like a lot of like friends that are indian or family friends that are indian having almost two years in between the weddings that you go to consecutively after one another it's is like nice. unheard of and that was only because of the pandemic so when we went and we went to this wedding it was a very small affair very intimate and things like that obviously because they still wanted to make sure that they were adhering to all the COVID protocols. But we went all out for this because we hadn't had an opportunity to dress up like that in so long. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what what doing? Next, one. next one is, show me a picture of you doing something adventurous. So my grandparents and my mom's like immediate family lives in Cape Town and we also live there. So we have a lot of family friends and stuff that live there as well. So every time that we go there, my mom's parents would usually take us on drives around Cape Town. So especially to Signal, Signal Hill. Yeah, so Chapman's Peak, Hout Bay, signal hill on top of table mountain things like that and so my grandfather actually took us to this really cool like hiking view spot that you can say on table mountain on the drive and it's so cool because this this piece of mountain like goes out that it feels like you're on like a sort of bench or something and it overlooks like the whole city and you can just see how beautiful the city is but it's like on the far side so you can't really see the city side it's more so that you see like the farm and the countryside the country. yeah so like all the different vegetation and it's such a beautiful area because south africa is home to some of the largest amounts of indigenous and endemic species that cannot be found anywhere else in the world especially in cape town and so just looking at all the different animals and plants that were there something like you will never ever see anywhere again and so my grandfather and my grandmother took us on this drive and we took a picture there and it was just such a wonderful afternoon and then the final one is to show me a picture of when you were younger so the first one is like we are with an alien of a baby sigil was such a cute child like she her head was quite big because <laughs> her body was really tiny and skinny Sigil just came out like very thin and things like that i think she was a little bit like under her due date that she was supposed to be in but she was almost full term and when Sigil was born my parents actually got a shock at how small she was because on the like ultrasound and stuff Sigil's weight and her dimensions were like up to speed with where she should have been at each stage of my mom's pregnancy and so when Sigil came out we like okay I was like five so I didn't even know what was going on I just knew she was so tiny she was very very underweight so until like I think two years ago Sigil's body was extremely extremely thin like she couldn't gain any weight no matter how much she ate like she eats a lot more unhealthier than me but she stayed very, very thin for a very, very long time. And so her head always looked disproportionate <laughs> to her body. But she was such a cute baby. She says she's a she's like an alien, but she was still a cute child. Aliens are cute though. I personally think I was a very, very cute child. I had peaks that my parents used to actually tell me and people that I didn't have a neck because I had very, very fat cheeks. My cheeks and my chin would kind of just 
hang that's why like even now like my face is quite round just i've always had that type of face shape and so i think i was a cute child and Sigel, when when we were um, looking at these pictures, she said it re it reminded her of someone. And I'm pretty sure we all know who has bullied. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen, it's like this viral video um, of these two men fighting, but it's like super funny because he also has his own music. Don't forget he has his own music. Oh, he also has his own music. But yeah, it's a viral video of them fighting against one another, <laughs> and I think they like Turkish or something like that. But they so so like they um they little people and so when they were fighting and stuff like that like no one was taking him seriously which is actually really sad but it became a very viral video <laughs> and so I just says I look like the guy from <laughs> him so that is the end of this video I really hope that you guys had a blast as much as we did when we were actually finding this video let me know of anything that you guys can relate to or if you want a part two of this. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful week filled with lots of love, happiness, light, positivity, and tons of laughs. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.